Hello and welcome to Calculus Tutorial. We are going to take a look at average value today. Um, and thankfully it does relate to what you know about averages already. Um, but when you're finding the average value of a function, it takes a little bit of calculus. So we're not finding the average of just a bunch of numbers. We're finding the average of a function. So if I want the average of a function. Here's the formula. You take the integral from a to b of that function, but then you have to divide by 1 over b, or sorry, multiply by 1 over b minus a which is the same thing as dividing by b minus a. Sometimes you'll see this as the integral from a to b of f of x over b minus a. Uh, hopefully you can see that these are the same thing. Uh, because this one looks a little smaller, that is usually the one you see. Now, that's a formula you do sort of need to have memorized but let me try to explain it to you a little bit. When you want to find the average of something, you add up all the numbers and divide by how many numbers there are. Well, an integral, a definite integral, is adding a bunch of rectangles, essentially. And so, just like average value, we are adding up a bunch of stuff. And then for average, after you're done adding, you have to divide by how many numbers there are. Well, this term right here is basically division. We are dividing by not necessarily how many rectangles, but how far they extend. Okay, How far are you drawing these rectangles? Um, not necessarily how many there are. There are technically an infinite number. But it's the same similar process as finding the average of numbers. You add a bunch of stuff up and then you divide. Um, so similar process but this time it takes a bit of calculus. So let's practice that a little bit. You'll see it's not too hard but it is a formula that you need to memorize. So let's practice the algebraic skill. So what is the average value of the function x squared minus 4x? over the interval 0 to 4. So the average of this function will equal, start with the integral, that's probably the easiest, from 0 to 4, that's how far we're going, of x squared minus 4x. But then we have to divide by how far we're going. So how far is it from 0 to 4? 4. So now we just have to do this uh, algebraic expression. So first take your integral here. Um, the antiderivative is 1 third x cubed minus 2x squared. And then because it's a definite integral we have to evaluate that from 0 to 4. Don't forget there is that 1 fourth out in front. That needs to stay there. So now we're going to plug in 4 and we're going to plug in 0. So plugging in 4, 4 cubed is 64 divided by 3. And then 4 squared is 16 minus 2. Uh, six, or sorry, 16 times 2 is 32. Minus, now we're going to plug in 0. Here's the nice thing. Plug in 0, plug in 0 you get 0. So 1 fourth times, uh, let's see, the 0 doesn't matter, but we got to subtract these, so let's get a common denominator here, 64 thirds minus, so we need it to be a 3 on the bottom, so multiply that times 3, and you get 96. times uh, 64 minus 96 will be negative 32. Uh, simplify here, 
and you will get negative 8 thirds as our average value, which is negative 2.66 repeating. All right, now what does that mean? Well, if we think about the graph here, of x squared minus 4x. It looks like this. All right, and here is 4, here is 0. So the average height here, the average value of all of these y values is about negative 2.66. Okay, that is the average value of that parabola from 0 to 4. All right, so that is sort of the basic skill that you need to be able to do. Um, let's do a quick interpretation question with some motion. Everything we do in this class can be applied to motion. So let's do our word problem. So a car is traveling for 24 seconds, and its velocity is modeled by the piecewise function below. What is the car's average velocity over these 24 seconds? So the average velocity will be the average value of this function, because we're given velocity. So that will be 1 over, how far are we going from 0 to 24? times the integral from 0 to 24 of this function v at t. Now, we don't have a way to do this antiderivative. But remember, because we're doing a definite integral, don't forget the ways that we used to take definite integrals. That is simply the area under the curve, so we need the area. So this triangle is 4 times 20 is 80 divided by 2 is 40. This one from 4 to 16 is 12. So that will be 12 times 20. So that would be 240. And this one from 16 to 24 is 8 and 20. So that is 160 divided by 2 is 80. So that uh, integral is adding all those up. So that would be 1 over 24 times 40 plus 240 plus 80. And so let's see, 80 and 40 is 120 plus 240 is 360 times 1 over 24 is equal to, uh, let's see here, 360 divided by 24, 15. Probably should have been able to do that in my head. Oh well. So our average velocity is 15, let's see, we're measuring in seconds and meters. So meters per second is the average velocity. So the average value is actually right here. That is the average. Now, yeah, it's not the middle. It's not just halfway in between. So your average is the sort of the middle of all the speeds. So it has to take into account all of these. And it slows down fairly quickly, which is why the average isn't brought down very much. All right, so we've got a word problem there that gives us our average value and just a formula that you have to have memorized and to recognize when you see it.